All right, I'm home, I'm charging. Uh, I can take a deep breath finally. Uh, everything is behaving correctly. Um, man, uh, I was nervous about that, but okay. So this is where I'm at right now. Uh, like I said in the other video, the T-Rex, I don't know if you're probably not gonna be able to see any of this. It got dark super quick as soon as I got home. Um, but the T-Rex is behaving really weird. Um, when it was connected in parallel uh, as soon as I pulled over. So when I pulled over, I got out of the car, uh, I could hear the contactors inside the T-Rex clicking on and off. Uh, both, all of those lights were flickering. So the, the red and green, um, and even the, the heating and cooling lights were all flickering. Uh, so that's scared the crap out of me because obviously I have a lot of time and invest the time and money invested into this. And, uh, Man, I just, I didn't know what would happen. I, I didn't want to brick it. And uh, yeah, so that was, that's what was happening. So that kind of freaked me out. Uh, so now when I got home, I test, I, I mentioned this in a previous video. I, so I had the contactor off open in the, in the T-Rex. Um, and then I had, I tested power at the junction box with this contactor closed. So that would give me power from the car at this junction box here, uh, which you probably can't see. So that that's how I was able to test the power uh, that the RAV4 pack had. Um, and it was 277 volts. Um, so then I closed this contact, or opened this contactor back up. And so that was isolated again. And then I turned the RAV pack, or the T-Rex pack back on. And I was sitting right around 300, I believe, 300 volts. So, that is interesting, and I guess I'll have to think about that. And I'm not really sure what that means right now, but um, so even though they were connected in parallel, and as soon as I stopped and disconnected them, uh, the voltage on the T-Rex climbed, so it went up to three, three hundred volts, and then um, it was just clicking. I don't know why, but it, yeah, it was freaking out because it, it didn't like the voltage from the car i don't i don't really know that that's a weird little thing about running bar, uh, ba battery packs in parallel i guess um not that i ever want this to happen again but that that's interesting so anyway so i uh started charging just the rav4 pack this was disconnected the t-rex was disconnected uh so i was just charging this pack and i got this up to it was something like 305 volts, 310 volts, and then I connected them in parallel. They instantly balanced, and now everything is charging again, no problems. So very, very thankful that it doesn't seem to be bricked or anything. Everything seems good so far. Uh, this has been an interesting learning experience, and I will definitely... Uh, uh, hopefully definitely hopefully <laughs> not do this again um yeah so right now let's see where we're at we are charging uh we're charging at 241 volts at 38 amps let's see what the car says all right so i got a couple little blips there now i got two and it's saying 21 miles so that is all good so far. Let's go back here to the T-Rex and see what this thing's saying. I don't know if any of this is gonna come out on the screen, but it's at 318 volts. Uh, the pack back here is getting 12.5 amps. Temperatures are good, 21 and 22. Okay, and good, the, the cell voltages have uh, balanced out already let's see that again that was uh 3.47 and 3.46 good because that was a big difference now that made me a little nervous but now that looks good say to charge six percent 3.46 see 1.3 kilowatt hours so yeah this that was uh really really low <laughs> Um, yeah, so thanks for putting up with all those last videos. I know that was a little crazy and I was pretty panicked, but, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate all you guys watching this and, uh, 
that was a little nuts. But I figured I should document it because somebody else is probably going to be as stupid as I just was at some point. And uh, looks like so far I dodged another bullet and uh, I made it through, thankfully. So I'm just going to let this charge overnight and charge both packs up and hopefully be good. I obviously, it, you really don't want to do this very often because this can really affect the lo longevity of your your cells uh, from what I've read and what I've been told. So be careful out there. Try not to run out of juice like I just did. And uh, yeah, but good luck, guys. And if you have any other questions or anything, not that you should probably be taking advice from me, uh, just, I guess, let me know. <laughs> uh, see you guys. Hope you all have a great night. Bye.